Well, Democrats and Republicans appear to have a deal to keep the U.S. from defaulting on its debt. News Nation Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson joining us live. So, Rashad, is this crisis averted or maybe only delayed? Nicole, we're expecting that vote in the Senate this evening that would raise the nation's debt limit through early December. And the Treasury Department has warned that any delay could negatively impact the economy. The congressional standoff is ending with a deal to allow the country to keep paying its bills. We have reached agreement to extend the debt ceiling through early December, and it's our hope that we can get this done as soon as today. The deal would raise the limit by $480 billion, allowing the country to continue payments for Medicare, military salaries, and Social Security checks. The White House supports the deal that keeps the country from defaulting. We need to pay our bills. Um, this debt, without question, was accrued by members of both parties, including $8 trillion from the last administration, from the Trump administration. The Senate is moving toward the plan I laid out yesterday to spare the American people a manufactured crisis. But Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell blames Democrats for pushing the country so close to the edge. The president, the speaker, and the Democratic leader had three months' notice to do their jobs. McConnell says Republicans originally opposed helping increase the borrowing limit because Democrats are preparing to spend trillions of dollars for new social programs. We know their reckless legislation would hurt American families and actually help China. All right, that was Rashad Hudson.